what's going on everybody outdoors guy here today I wanted to talk to you about blade sharpening as you guys know I run a thicker blade on my sawmill which is a 055 by 144 but I know a lot of you guys use the 044 or the 045 whatever it came out with and I use those too so today I wanted to show you a cheap alternative to sharpening your blades a lot of people send off their blades I do the same thing and with the thicker blades it cost me eight dollars a blade so if I've got 10 blades that I sent out, that's 80 bucks to get them sharpened. Uh, but I just wanted to show you today a cheap alternative, and that's using an electric chainsaw sharpener. You can buy these off eBay. They're around $35, $40 for the sharpener. And I've sharpened countless blades on them. And what I usually do is I'll sharpen my blades a couple of times, and then I'll send them off and get them sharpened because they also set the teeth, and I don't have a, I don't have a tooth setter. So I always send them off after I sharpen them two, three times or something. But anyways, this is a, a cheap way that you can sharpen your own blades. If if you're in a pinch, you can just get out there and sharpen you up a blade real quick. And then you can keep on producing lumber. You know, it's just something that I've done and it works very well for me. Hope that you guys enjoy this video. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And hopefully you guys get something out of this video. Oh, and also, I wanted to say, I posted a short about this, and a lot of people had liked the video. They commented, messaged me, asked me to put out this video. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching that video. I appreciate it. But anyways, let's get into this. Alright guys, so whenever you get this out of the box, there's a few little modifications that you're going to have to do. There's this little silver lever and on here it's actually like a spring behind it you'll have to remove that spring it's not hard to do it's it's really simple you just got to remove this stuff that way that your band blade actually sits down in the metal guide here also there's a uh, black screw that runs through the middle of this and you'll have to remove it other than that that that's about it there's just some little minor things you got to do so first up, what you're going to want to do is get your blade, get you a piece of soapstone, mark your first tooth front and back because whenever you spin it around, sometimes the soapstone that's on the front will rub off. But anyways, you want to do that because if you don't mark it, then it's very easy to lose track of which tooth that you're on. But as you can see, I'm just slightly hitting these teeth Here's a different angle. I just, uh, I'll kindly push that tooth up against the grinding wheel and just slightly hit it. Now, I recommend starting out with a junk blade at first until you get used to sharpening because this is all free hem. This is not automatic at all. You're going to have to actually learn the feel of the tooth. Like these 044s or 045s, whatever they're called, you just barely hit the tooth just a few times and that's it now the 055s that i sharpen see it takes a little bit longer like i said you can go on ebay and get these sharpeners and they're not very expensive at all i bought one to sharpen chainsaw chains and i ended up buying the sawmill later and then a buddy of mine actually had told me about this being able to do this so I decided to undertake it and done a few little modifications to the chainsaw sharpener and as you can see it does a really good job. Like I said I usually will sharpen a blade two three times or something and then I'll send it off and get it sharpened that way they can set the teeth because I don't have a tooth setter. It's something I would like to have but at the same time it's no big deal you know. Also, I wanted to say, you know, after you buy this, this is $35 to $40. You got to think after you sharpen five blades, it's paid for itself. So anything after that is profit. Now, I wanted to go over something right here for you guys. Uh, first thing is, after you sharpen your teeth or before either way, you can actually hit the spine of these teeth. And... It kind of helps. It, it makes them cut a little bit better and all you're really doing is you're just uh, taking the grinder and you're just hitting the back of that tooth and it just shaves off a little bit of that metal and makes it a little bit sharper and it works really well. 
uh, right here I'm going to demonstrate that this is uh, where I'm going to actually take off some of the spine on the back of it now just pay close attention this is kind of how I do it you just lightly go over the back of the spine and as you can see right here I'll just sharpen and then just kind of pull back over top of that spine and I do that every once in a while it's not a big difference you can just hit the tooth if that's what you're wanting to do now right here though I want to show you what rolling a tooth is and this is very common and especially whenever you're starting out and as you can see right there right there is what uh what you do you kind of push in too too hard and then you will uh actually roll that tooth over and then it's no good it destroys the blade so that's something that you got to be very careful with and as you can see this is the finished product this is an 055 that i had actually sharpened earlier it cuts really good it's razor sharp it does everything that it's supposed to do if you're looking into getting a sharpener and you're not wanting to spend six hundred dollars i'd recommend an electric chainsaw sharpener they work very well at least they do for me and i believe they will for you also if you need any help setting one up hit me up on instagram hit me up on twitter whatever and i'll uh i'll help you guys out guys thanks for watching the video i appreciate it very much and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and hit a thumbs up on this video anyways i'm gonna let you guys off here i appreciate you guys watching my videos and the continued support and also the shorts and stuff the youtube shorts i've been getting into those so i'll be putting out a lot more of those also thank you guys for watching but anyways till next time take it easy and be safe